Hi everyone, uh, this is the Svelte, Cap Svelte Kit Capacitor uh, app speedrun. Uh, Capacitor uh, is uh, a way for you to make uh, apps, mobile apps, whatever apps, using uh, web technologies. And uh, Svelte Kit is just a really good web framework uh, built on top of Svelte. Uh, so that's pretty good. So yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, so I have Android Studio installed because I'm on Linux, um, and we need to start a new Svelte Kit app. So it's uh, npm init uh, Svelte at next, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Oh, I need to create a, a new directory. Um, new test app or whatever, new test app, npm in it. Uh, yeah, I want a skeleton project because I want to use uh, a, a, a code that I already have to test uh, a capacitor. I won't use TypeScript. Yes, yes, lint. Yes, prettier. So npm install. Um, so then if I run npm run dev, we should have a very basic um, Svelte kit app running, npm run dev. So I have here on localhost 3000, uh, the Svelte kit app running, so cool. Uh, then I'll open this on my preferred text editor, which is PyCharm. Um, I have an alias to it. Um, so yeah, so now we should have, yeah, just a base project with uh, an SRC with routes and this index.svelte, which is like the home page. Um, so if we want to uh, make this an app for the web and for mobile using Capacitor, we need to install Capacitor stuff. So npm install at Capacitor core and then we need the common line interface capacitor uh, cli and capacitor android since i'm on linux and i'll use geolocation and file system as well capacitor file system and capacitor geolocation okay so it um capacitor file i always write it wrong <laughs> um cool so it's getting stuff um the next step is for us to create a base configuration for uh capacitor here so it's npx cap init uh, yeah, new test app is fine, com example app is fine, and the web asset di directory is going to be built because we're going to generate the static app from the Svelte Kit um, adapter. Uh, speaking of it, I need to add the Svelte Kit adapter. Let me just put this on presentation mode so we can see stuff. Um, so yeah, let's read the docs. Oh, I already have it open here. Cool. So adapters. Uh, Svelte Kit has a lot of ways to uh, export the app. You can export it to Node, to Cloudflare workers, Netlify, Vercel. There are already a lot of them. I'm going to use adapter static because it's, um, it's, it, it just, makes uh, an HTML and JavaScript app since we are gonna put the whole app inside of the Android package we need to render is that it is static there's no um, dev server um, web server in there uh, so yeah I'm uh, adding the adapter and then I need to change my Svelte config here to use the static adapter uh, so I need to put adapter 
as adapter and that's mostly it um, and uh, oh let me show you the capacitor config JSON file this uh, this JSON file was the one that was generated by NPX cap in it here uh, for production it's ready uh, for development we need to do a couple things yet um, so yeah uh, but first we need to tell capacitor that we want to use Android as the build target as one of the build ta targets which is cap add Android Oh, and I will uh, as well copy uh, a Svelte component uh, from the other app that I built before. So cat. Uh, oh no, I, I have it open as well here. So I, I already have like this sample here. Uh, I'm gonna put the link on the description. Uh, it's the same thing that I'm doing here. <clears throat> I'm using it as a guide. Um, so yeah, roots index i want this file here this file should run on dev and production because it's just me using capacitor stuff so i'm using the geolocation and the file system um, uh, modules here so yeah um okay uh, so this should give us uh, the file data on an H1 and the geolocation. Uh, if we are doing this on web, it should already be working. So npm run dev. Um, and voila, here we have the dummy text file uh, and we have the geolocation already working. If, uh, if you're running this for the first time, it asks you for your um, permission for geolocation. So, yep, that's that. And the file, it, since it's on the web, it's putting it inside an index.db uh, fake disk here. So you see we have uh, the path uh, with the data here. This is a dummy text file. This is a dummy text file, okay? Uh, but we do need to make this ready for um, quote-unquote production. So if we want to use it only for production, we can already do an npm run build, uh, which will create... Uh, what? There's a link here. Oh yeah, there's no about page. Um, Okay, so it uh, created the uh, static build of my SvelteKit app here. Uh, and it created this build uh, folder here, which will be used by Capacitor to make the app. So I can run npx cap oh, uh, sync, since we need to synchronize the, the build with the Capacitor app. Um, oh, we do need to add a couple of permissions though. Um, Android doesn't let us... Uh, um, where is it? I don't remember. I think it's app, SRC. It's... it's uh, le le let me just check here. I, th I think it's just like... Um, Oh, this is not it. Uh, it's it's an XML somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably. Oh, it 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 tells me here. <laughs> uh, so it should be on Android Manifest.xml. So uh, Android Manifest. It's on Android app. Android app, SRC, Android, uh, main Android manifest. So we, we just need to add the user permissions here. Cool. And we should be ready to sync it again with Capacitor since we need to uh, 
uh, get these new permissions on the Capastor app. And then we just run cap open Android. Since I already have Android Studio here, uh, it's going to open Android Studio and uh, build the app and uh, I'll be able to uh, run the app on an Android emulator here. We're still not done. We still need to configure this to have like hot module replacement on the Android emulator for, for development purposes. I won't update Kotlin right now. Uh, so it's building, you see Gradle build here. Um, so when it's ready, it should show us the files here on the project tab. That's it. And then I have this open and uh, open edit run debug configurations dialog, which should open the Android emulator. Yes. have yeah the android emulator here running it takes a little while it's starting so it's going to open yes so you see that i already have the same app running here and it's asking me for geolocation permissions so i will allow and yep there we have our geolocation here. It's an uh, it, it's a fake uh, geolocation. Uh, that's why it's different from mine here because I'm I'm running this on on like a real uh, browser. This is just using the uh, Android emulator localization. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, I have the app running for production. So let's get it ready for development. Uh, for development, we have to add a couple of configurations to our capacitor config file. Um, it's just this server here uh, because uh, what we want is for when we are developing, we should get the, the whole app from this URL which is the, this is localhost 3000 for the Android uh, emulator. So we need to go to capacitor config and add this. Cool. So if we run npm run dev and, uh, and we run npx cap sync and npx cap open Android. Uh, it will do the same thing again, but it will enable us to have like hot module replacement. Uh, I, I do have, I think a couple of, um, a couple of uh, helpers to do these things that I'm doing manually here. Uh, Gradle invocation, so it's opening, and we have capacitor is beautiful, and then we have this is a dummy text file and the geolocation. So if we go here to index.svelte, and let's just do it like this. So if I just, for example, remove this H1, it just removes it, and if I change it here, it puts it again, and if I change the color to green, it should change to green. So we have the best development experience uh, directly on an Android emulator. Um, just be mindful that this, uh, this configuration here is only for development. When you're building this for production, you need to remove this server uh, thing here or else it will always point to localhost 3000, which won't be running on the production app. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We have now a SvelteKit app ready to production uh, using Capacitor. So yeah, thanks a lot. See you soon.